Exodus chapter 9. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Go into Pharaoh and tell him, Thus says Yahweh, the mighty one of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may worship me. For if you refuse to let them go, and continue to hold them back, the hand of Yahweh will bring a terrible plague on your livestock, in the field, on your horses, and donkeys, and camels, and on your cattle, and sheep, and goats. But Yahweh will make a difference between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Egypt. Nothing shall die of all which belongs to the children of Israel. And Yahweh appointed a set time, and said, Tomorrow Yahweh will do this thing in the land. And Yahweh did this thing on the next day, and all the livestock of Egypt died. But of the livestock of the children of Israel, not one died. Then Pharaoh sent men to investigate, and found not even one of the animals of the children of Israel had died. Yet his heart was hardened and unyielding, and he would not let the people go. Then Yahweh said to Moshe and Aaron, Take for yourselves handfuls of soot from a furnace, and let Moshe toss it into the air in the sight of Pharaoh. It will become fine dust in all the land of Egypt, and it will cause boils that fester on man and beast throughout all the land of Egypt. So they took soot from the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moshe tossed the soot into the air, and it caused boils that festered on man and beast. And the magicians could not at all stand before Moshe because of the boils, for the boils were on the magicians and on all the Egyptians. But Yahweh hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he would not listen to them, just as Yahweh had said to Moshe. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Rise early in the morning and confront Pharaoh, saying to him, Thus says Yahweh, the mighty one of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may worship me. For this time I will send the full force of my plagues against you, and against your officials and your people, in order that you may know there is none like me in all the earth. For by now I could have stretched out my hand and struck you and your people with a plague that would have wiped you from the earth. But I have raised you up and spared you for this very purpose, that I might show you my power, and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. As yet, you still exalt yourself against my people by not letting them go. Therefore, at this time tomorrow, I will send the worst hailstorm that has ever fallen on Egypt from the day it was founded until now. Behold, send now and gather your livestock and all that you have in the field, for the hail shall come down on every man and every beast which is found in the field and is not brought home, and they shall die. Those who feared the word of Yahweh among the officials of Pharaoh made his servants and livestock flee to their houses. But those who did not regard the word of Yahweh left his servants and livestock in the fields. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Stretch out your hand toward the sky so that hail may fall upon all the land of Egypt, on man, on beast, and on everything growing in the field throughout the land of Egypt. So Moshe stretched out his staff toward the sky, and Yahweh sent thunder, hail, and flashing lightning to the ground. So Yahweh rained hail on the land of Egypt. Hail fell, and lightning flashed back and forth with the hail. It was the worst storm in all the land of Egypt since it had become a nation. Throughout Egypt, hail struck everything in the fields, both men and animals. It beat down everything growing in the fields and stripped every tree. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. Then Pharaoh summoned Moshe and Aaron and said to them, I have sinned this time. Yahweh is in the right, and my people and I are in the wrong. Pray to Yahweh that there may be no more mighty thundering in hell, for we have had enough. I will let you go, and you shall not have to stay any longer. Then Moshe said to Pharaoh, As soon as I have gone out of the city, I will spread out my hands in prayer to Yahweh. The thunder will cease, and there will be no more hail, in order that you may know that the earth is Yahweh's. But I know that you and your officials still do not yet fear Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. 
Now the flax and the barley were struck, destroyed in the hail, for the barley was in the green ear, and the flax was in the bloom. But the wheat and the spelt were not struck, for they were not grown up, ripening later. So Moshe went out of the city from Pharaoh, and spread out his hands in prayer to Yahweh. Then the thunder and hail ceased, and the rain stopped pouring on the earth. When Pharaoh saw that the rain, the hail, and the thunder had ceased, he sinned yet more, and he and his officials hardened their hearts. So Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not let the children of Israel go, just as Yahweh had said through Moshe.